Christmas is the greatest time of the year. The festivities, the decorations, and the gifts, and the joy. The joy that's in the hearts of all, young and old and big and small. Hi, Max. Well, hello, Hermie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, hey, doesn't Christmas remind you of fruitcake? Hmm. I never thought about that. Fruitcake is made of nuts and fruits and savory sweets. There's many different ingredients all coming together to form one harmonious, wonderful, incredibly satisfying taste. And Christmas, well, Christmas is made up of singing, giving, and decorating. So many different activities all coming together to form one exciting and united and incredibly joyful celebration. Hmm. No. At Christmas time, I always think of fruitcake, especially Granny Pillar's fruitcake. Here, I brought you some. Granny Pillar's fruitcake. For me? Well, I need to go. Bye. Bye, Hermie, and thanks for the fruitcake. You've heard the expression, it's the thought that counts, right? Well, a gift says, I love you and I care about you. That's what giving is all about. And as Hermie and his friends are about to discover, sharing God's gift to the world at Christmas is the greatest gift of all. Mm. Now that's fruitcake. There was a time in a place far and near when Christmas was celebrated with hearts full of cheer until he came all covered in green. Was he a friend or a foe or fiend? Nope, just me. <laughs> whoa, 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 go! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. 
I mean, uh, Merry Christmas! Oh. 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 oh, I know that laughter. Iggy, Ziggy, what's so funny? You, with the sliding and the tumbling, look like the agony of defeat. Defeat? His whole body is in agony. <laughs> That's a clever one, Iggy. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get everything ready for Christmas. Don't you two have something to do? Something to do? We don't have time for Christmas. Right, Ziggy? We're very busy. Busy as a, a cricket or, or, or a millipede or a, a dung beetle. Yeah, whatever. All very busy creatures, and we're no exception. Can't you see? We're gathering up food for the winter. But you're just carrying clipboards. Clipboards are very important. With clipboards come responsibility. That's right. Our main job is to supervise him. <laughs> huh? Freddy Flea, are you okay? <laughs> God, God bless us one and all. <laughs> but it's Christmas. Why work so hard? You should be singing Christmas carols, going to parties, but decorating your house. It's all part of the fun. Bah, humbugger. Who needs all that? Christmas just gets in the way. Slows you down. Can't get your work done. In fact, we're on the clock. Time is food. Let's go, Freddy. Don't dawdle. Ooh, I like the word dawdle. Me too. You know, it rhymes with water, not water bottle. Who are they? Iggy and Ziggy Cockroach. They live up there in Cockroach Mansion. They're the richest bugs in the garden. How'd oh, they get so rich? Taking all year long, they grab all the food they can and they store it in their mansion. All for them and none for all. That's their motto. Maybe at Christmas they'll be a little nicer. Nicer? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> at Christmas. <laughs> the fruitcake. The fruitcake! Yeah, we have to check on the fruitcake and see if Granny Pillar is done making it. Come on. It should be delivered today for our Christmas Eve fruitcake dinner tomorrow. The only other place Iggy and Ziggy might not have raided yet is the berry patch. Come on, we're almost there. There's one! Don't think so. You've taken all the food. <sighs> there isn't even a crumb left. Look at me. I haven't eaten for days. I'm nothing but an exoskeleton. We're hungry. I have to feed my children. We're tired of eating snow. Blah. Supply and demand, my fellow bugs. Basic economics. 
while you were out making your little Christmas list and singing your little Christmas tunes and buying your little Christmas presents and putting up your little Christmas decorations, we were working. He who works eats. That's good. Who said that? Me. <laughs> You know, I'm glad I went to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Freddy. Freddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Haley, Bailey, what's wrong? How come some bugs aren't nice at Christmas? What do you mean? Christmas is such a joyful time. But some bugs like Iggy and Ziggy are just mean. Yeah, why is that? I guess it's because they don't know the true meaning of Christmas. The true meaning of Christmas? Yes, the true meaning of Christmas. Fruitcake? No, Christmas is the celebration of God sending his son Jesus to the earth. He was born many years ago in a manger in Bethlehem. God sent his son to earth? To be with us? He must really love us. Oh, he does, Bailey. He wanted to be with us, speak to us, live with us, teach us and love us. And Jesus came to us on Christmas? That's right. God gave us the best gift of all. And he came for everyone? Everyone. Right, God? That's right, Lucy. Hello, Haley and Bailey. God? Is it true you sent your son Jesus to earth for everyone? I love everyone in the world so much that I sent my son so that whoever believes in him will live forever. Wow, that's the best Christmas present anyone could ever get. That's why we give gifts, to remind us of the greatest gift we've ever been given. Then I guess we don't really need anything else. If only others understood the way you do. I love Christmas. Me too. I love everything about Christmas. Hmm. What's your favorite Christmas memory, Hermie? I guess my favorite is when I was a kid at my Granny Pillar's house. Here's my little Hermie. Are you hungry? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you have some nice ginger cookies? Yes. Um, mm. And some potato cupcakes. Uh, mm, mm. I've also got oh, some cinnamon that. sticks, mm. rose petal souffle, mm. step suckers, mm. nectar drops, honey lollipops, oh. raspberry pie, oh. and you've got gummies and your very favorite oh. broccoli casserole. That's good. And of course, the best of all, Granny Pillar's famous fruitcake. Fruitcake. No one makes fruitcake like Granny Pillar. Fruitcake. And once everyone tried her special recipe, it became a Christmas Eve tradition for the whole town. That's probably my favorite memory of Christmas. Fruitcake. Come on, it's just over this river and through the woods to Granny Pillar's house we go and, uh, hey. It has a nice ring to it. There it is! Granny Pillar! Granny Pillar, it's me, Hermie! Hermie, I've been expecting you! Hello, Wormy! Fruitcake. 
Oh, hello, Granny Pillar. I assume you're here for the fruitcake. Fruitcake? Oh. Yes, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. The whole town is very excited. I'm so glad. But this fruitcake was not easy to make. I had trouble finding all the ingredients, especially the nuts and fruits. Yeah, we know. The whole town is having trouble finding food. Those cockroaches must be at it again. Fortunately, I had enough for the town's fruitcake. Don't you worry. Where is it? Around back. Here it is. It's beautiful. all the other food, they must have taken the fruit cake too. Now, nobody actually saw them. Bugs are innocent until proven guilty. Now, let's examine the evidence. It would seem to me that we're looking for someone who is greedy, selfish, and doesn't like Christmas. Now, who would that be? Yeah, I guess it was probably Iggy and Ziggy. Someone needs to talk to them and tell them to give back the fruitcake. Good idea, but can we vote on who's going to go? Wormy and I always get stuck doing this kind of thing. I nominate Hermy and Wormy. Aye. Aye. Okay, democracy is sure swift. Let's go, Wormy. Fruitcake! Antonio, stop it! What? We're fine, just thank you! Antonio! It's just a little drumming, boy. Nobody appreciates a good rumpa pum pum these days. Do you want? Yes, I'm a. Uh, hello, Iggy. Ziggy. Uh, are you having a nice day? Yes, uh, uh, that's good. I was wondering if, uh, perchance, you happen to have, maybe, uh, in your possession a certain fruitcake that was in our town square? Possibly? Perhaps? Coincidentally? Everyone always suspects us. If something goes wrong, blame it on the cockroaches. Isn't that always the case? This cuts deep. Very deep. I'm hurt. The bugs don't like us. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Hermie. I hope it didn't ruin your Christmas. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that went well. I know they have it. Let's peek into their house. We'll be private eyes. Oh boy, here we go again. What do you see, Hermie? I is it the fruitcake? Yes, yeah, I see something. It's big, thick, brown. I think it's a, uh, uh... Here, hold this. A rock. <laughs> Good job. Now we know for sure they have the missing rocks. When I say go, you start singing. When they open the door, I'll peek in and see if the fruitcake is inside, okay? Okay. Ready, go. <laughs> well, uh, anyone up for a chorus of Winter Wonderland? <laughs> All right, everyone, here's what we're going to do. We'll put on this big Christmas play and invite Iggy and Ziggy. And while they're watching you, I'll peek into the windows and see if they have the fruitcake. Okay? Okay. It's called Hermes Fruitcake Christmas Extravaganza Spectacular Special. <sighs> what do you think? Okay, I'll work on the title. Let me hand out your parts. Lucy, I want you to be the fruitcake queen. What's my motivation? To hand out fruitcakes to all the good little bugs and bugettes. Well, as long as they brush afterwards. <laughs> I am still a mom. Antonio, I want you to play the fruitcake baker. Do I get to wear the chef's hat? Of course. Oh, goody! Webster, I want you to play the mailman delivering invitations to the fruitcake festival. I'm all hands. <laughs> there are your props. Hey, I may already be a winner. Wormy, I want you to play the deputy. I always play the deputy. Hmm, how about the landlord? <laughs> we would never come to this play. Hey, where's the talking snowman? Or the reindeer with the red nose that flies? Ooh, 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 or how about the angel that has come to earn its wings? Or the crotchety old Scrooge who works overtime on Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I, I'd watch that one. Yeah, so would I, Iggy. That, that, that one is a good one. <laughs> God, that's just one and all. <laughs> ah, great. Well, that didn't work either. Can anyone tell us how we're going to get that fruitcake back? Maybe God can. Let's ask him, God? Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas God. God. Why aren't any of our plans going right? What are we doing wrong? I've been watching, and I believe all of you are letting the missing fruitcake get in the way of the true meaning of Christmas. The fruitcake is a nice tradition every year, but it is not what Christmas is all about. You've forgotten that Christmas is about my gift to you, the gift of my son, Jesus who was born in a manger in Bethlehem. He came to be with the ones he loved, young and old, big and small. He loves you all. We can have Christmas without fruitcake, but we can't have it without Jesus. You're right. We allow the fruitcake to become too important at Christmas. We don't need it. We can still celebrate because you've given us a gift no one can take away. Right, Wormy? Right, Hermie. Does that mean nobody wants any fruitcake? I don't have much with the food shortage, but I did manage to find a little fruitcake that I had stored away. How old is it? Oh, just a couple of years. But don't worry, fruitcake never spoils. Well, it's not much, but hey, we're thankful for what we have. Come on, everyone, have some.
God, we thank you for Christmas and all that it means. And thank you for giving us what we have and help us to appreciate everything this Christmas season. In your name, amen. Let's eat. Roaches? Say that again. Shouldn't we invite the cockroaches to come have fruitcake with us? It is Christmas, and Christmas is for everyone. Well, yeah, technically you're right, but uh, they wouldn't want to come anyway. Yeah, they're probably working. Way too busy. Counting all their nuts. And besides, they're not invited because... They're the ones who stole the Christmas fruitcake! Yeah! Let's just have our fruitcake crumbs and make this a Merry Christmas. You're not here to sing Christmas songs or invite us to your Christmas plays or to beg and whine for some food. Ooh, ooh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm a starving bug. We don't want anything from you. We want to give you a gift. Here, here's some fruit cake. Merry Christmas. Why would you want to give us some of your fruit cake? Yeah, nobody's ever given us anything at Christmas. But God did give you something. He gave you the best gift of all. He sent his son Jesus to this earth because he loves all of us. And God's love is for everyone. Even us? Sometimes we forget. It's more than gifts or a tree. The lights are bright. The snow's a sight. Sometimes that's all we see. There's more to all of this than what to give or get. With so little time, we try and find the perfect gift and yet. God gave us the greatest gift of all. Haley, Bailey, where have you two been? We want to visit Iggy and Ziggy. Why would you do that? We gave them our fruitcake. What? Mama, you said we give gifts at Christmas to remember God's gift to us, his son Jesus. Yeah, and everyone needs to remember that gift, even Iggy and Ziggy. Haley, Bailey, you're right. We were wrong not to invite them to the party. You did the right thing. Get the fruit cake back. Come on, number one. Let's get <laughs> Woo! Yeah.
We like parties, don't we? Especially big parties. And it would be rude to come to a party without bringing a gift. Very rude, very poor etiquette. I agree. Yay! We just wanted to say that we're sorry. We had the fruitcake all along. We didn't know the true meaning of Christmas until Haley and Bailey showed us. All we've ever done was take. We didn't understand what giving was all about. Haley and Bailey helped us learn that we've been given something that's more than we could ever ask for. We've been given the gift of God's own son. Will you ever forgive us? Hermie? Hermie? What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden I feel this overwhelming desire to become a dentist. Oh, Hermie! You've been watching too many Christmas specials. Hermie, would you like to light the Christmas tree? Yes, I'd be honored to. Oh. Hey, lightning bugs! Lights, please. Christmas, Wormy. Oh, Merry Christmas, Harmy. Merry Christmas, God. Merry Christmas, one and all. The greatest gift that the world could ever receive was a tiny baby born in a small town called Bethlehem. God gave you and me an eternal gift, a gift we can all open any day of the year, the gift of Jesus Christ, the gift of His sacrifice, the gift of eternal life. Hey, Max. Well, hello, Hermie. Thanks again for that fruitcake. You have any more? Nope, Wormy finished it off. Sorry, but uh, I got you another gift. Oh, my. This is huge. How did you... Don't ask. Yeah, right. Granny Pillar made it for you. It's a tie. Hey, open yours. Oh, my. Can you manage? No problem. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, get that. Uh, uh, okay, got it. Do you like it? Oh, a tie. It's nice. It's so you. Yes, it is so me. Um, maybe we should, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. Let's swap. That's better. Merry Christmas, Max. 
Merry Christmas, Hermie. And Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful day, Wormy. It sure is, Hermie. It's probably one of the nicest days I've ever seen. You said it, Hermie. Ah! I'd have to say, of all the days I've ever seen, this one ranks about a... a wormy. Wormy! Help, Hermie! Help me! Wormy! How'd you get in that mud puddle? But th that's very dangerous, you know. Mud puddles are hazardous to your health. Yeah, but I know. Just, just get me out. I'll get help. Uh, don't go anywhere. That's the problem. I can't go anywhere. What happened to you? I fell into a mud puddle. I'm sinking. I remember when I fell into a mud puddle. Seems like just yesterday. We were under heavy attack. The enemy was all around. Bombs were exploding to the left. To the right! Run, I cried. As I did, I fell into a mud puddle. I was there for three days. Three long, hard days. I tried everything to get out. But it was no use. I had to eat the mud to survive. Eventually, a squad came by and pulled me out. I was never the same after that day. Never the same. Never the same. Hey, boy, wait a minute, what about? Oh, never mind. Oh, oh good, you're still here. Well, of course I am. I brought a towel to clean you up when you get out. I don't need a towel. I need to get out. No towel? Hmm. Some bugs are so ungrateful. Okay. Um, don't move. I'll be right back. Army! Ah. Well, well, well. I hope you've learned your lesson. What? Falling into mud puddles. What kind of bug does such a thing? You should know better. But I... Uh... Messing up the garden with your ugly mud. I have a mind to take this up with the insect council. Good idea, Iggy. Let's file a petition. Better yet, an injunction. What's that? I have no idea. <laughs> I just don't get it. Hey, Wormy. Good news. I found some perfume to help you smell better when you get out. Lilac. I don't need to smell better when I get out. I need to get out. You know, uh, you should take better care of yourself. You know, a little deodorant wouldn't hurt. Think about the rest of us for once. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> no! How could this happen? You've fallen into a mud puddle. Yes, yes. At least somebody sees the seriousness of this situation. Perfectly good caterpillars like you shouldn't fall into mud puddles. Oh, why do bad things happen to good caterpillars? Oh, wormy. I'll go pray for you. Bye. Thanks for your prayers, Freddy, but I, I need... Uh, 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 uh. Worry? I know it's been difficult, so I'm going to write your memoirs about your time in the mud puddles. Let's start at the beginning. Tell me about your childhood. I don't need to write my memoirs. I don't need stories about the time someone spent in a mud puddle. I don't need a towel or perfume when I get out of the mud puddle. I don't need people telling me how bad I am for falling into a mud puddle. I don't need someone crying that I fell into a mud puddle. I need help getting out of the mud puddle. Well, why didn't you just say so?
You see, Hermie, Proverbs 18.24 says, A real friend will be more loyal than a brother. What I really needed was someone to reach out and help me with my situation. You're right. That was well said. I'll remember that next time. Now let's finish our walk. Oh, uh, oh, a little help. Wormy, why are you smiling like that? Uh, uh, okay, okay, I've learned my lesson. Uh, you're going to get a stick, right? <laughs> Wormy? Wormy? Have you ever known someone who's hard to get along with? You know the type. There's just something about him or her that makes being a friend a little difficult. <laughs> it could be any number of things. The way they act, the way they talk. Or the way they chew their food with their mouth open. Hermie, I didn't see you there. Yeah, I don't like open mouth chewers either. Or th the ones that talk during movies. Definitely. Or they uh, pick their nose in public. Ooh, that's not good. Or the ones that write all these books telling you how to live your life. Yeah. Hey! Oh, 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 the ones who always say, hey, Wormy, I have an idea, and it always falls apart because it causes more problems than when it started. Uh, Hermie, that's you. It is. You're right. Yeah. Well, well, I take that back. I like those guys. As you can see, sometimes God puts people into our lives to challenge us. One bug is about to enter our garden who's a little hard to get along with. Not because he's mean or chews his food with his mouth open, but because he stinks. Gather around! Camp Bugaboo is about to officially open. Let's make sure everyone has their assigned duty. Lucy, you're doing campfire stories. Antonio, games and sports. Lizzie, you're our camp cook. Hermie, you're doing, uh, what are you doing? Ah, very good question. I, um, am, uh, uh, um, in charge of something, uh, uh, Hey! I'm in charge of the, uh, whistle. <laughs> Technically, the term is executive in charge of whistle relations. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I'm, I'm not one for titles. Okay, everyone's here except Skeeter. Where's Skeeter? <laughs> Skeeter, report for duty, sir. What's Skeeter's job? He's driving our school bus. Oh. You got to be kidding. That's about as ridiculous as putting me in charge of the whistle. You are in charge of the whistle. Well, who came up with that idea? Skeeter, we are ready for you to go pick up the campers. I am on my way! Oh, 
<laughs> now who put a tree here? Well, the bus isn't coming. I guess I'm not going to camp. <laughs> no, I have to go. I promised my mom and dad. Oh, oh, it's going to be terrible. I just know it. God? Yes, Stanley? I don't feel so good. Tell me why. I, I, I don't want to go to camp. I, I feel so all alone. And you're afraid the others won't like you because... Because... Sometimes I stink. God, why did you make me so stinky? Stanley, I made you just the way you are. And I don't make mistakes. But I'm afraid to go to camp. What if the others don't like me? I will be with you. Just remember that. Okay, I will. Thanks, God. Oh, sorry, I'm late, kid. I mean, I got a little turned around in the direction. Hey, what happened here? Okay. Let's get this over with. Soldier, what happened? It was the smell, sir! I couldn't breathe! I, I did all I could! Smell? Uh, what smell? Hello, everyone. I'm Stanley. Hello, Stanley! Welcome to Camp Bugaboo! I'm... <coughs> joking! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> how smell? I mean, how swell of you to come. I'm sorry about the... About the what? Oh, we're just uh, glad to smell you. Uh, see you. <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to have a great time. Right, every bug? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. mm. <clears throat> Maybe I should go home. Uh, don't even stink. Uh, uh, think about it. Uh, come on. <laughs> Let's uh, have some fun. <laughs> uh, 
All right, time for some tug of war. Are the two sides ready? <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! Winner, <laughs> Stanley, Medic! We'll take him, we'll take him. Uh, Mr. Antonio, the teams are even. We don't have room for one more player. Yes, yes they are. Hmm. Why don't you take a rest, sport? We'll get you in the next game. Oh, oh yeah, sure. I understand. I, I knew it. I knew this would happen. No one wants to be around me because I stink. Why did I ever come to camp? Flowers cower, leaves shake and shiver. Oh, as far as I can tell, this smell is far worse than 18 day old out in the hot sun flies buzzing around stinky old rotten chop liver. I stink, I turn the green grass pink. Wherever I go, this smell follows. This cloud I make, no one can take, I think. I stink, so drop me in the drink. Please don't shriek because I reek, but me thinks me stinks. When I was a young bug, no bigger than a gnat, I learned to read and write and spell. Then one day I discovered, as I ran for cover, the thing that I was racing from was running from my own smell. Oh, I think. I stink, I turn the green grass pink. Wherever I go, the smell follows. This cloud I make, no one can take, I think. I stink, so drop me in the drink. Please don't shriek because I reek, but me thinks me stinks. Now that I'm much older and seen a lot of stuff, it seems my group of friends have shrunk. But it's hard to make friends when they're playing pretend Instead of hanging out with me, they'd rather go hang with skunks Oh, I think, I stink, I turn the green grass pink Wherever I go, the smell follows this cloud I make No one can take, I think, I stink, so drop me in the drink Please don't shriek because I reek, but me thinks me stinks So, oh, I know, I'm sorry Wherever he goes, the smell follows this cloud he makes No one I'm can try take it. Oh, please don't treat because I read. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, but I don't smell it. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Tiffin bean sprout salad, man, with stewed tomatoes and tater tots. Stanley is sitting all by himself. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, I think so. Well, here goes. Hi, Stanley. Is anyone sitting here? No, no. Nobody. Great. Uh, <clears throat> so, Stanley. What? Ugh. Sorry. I don't feel so good. Yeah, I think we're going to skip lunch. Hey, are you going to eat those tots?
This isn't good, Hermie. Hmm. Well, this sure stinks. Literally. The little fleas wandered deep into the swamp. That's when they heard the groans. Their little flea knees shook. Deep in the mist, they could see it. The swamp gas monster. Ah! Uh, oh. Oh, I thought you were the swamp gas monster. The little fleas fled as fast as they could. When they suddenly got stuck in the mud, the swamp gas monster moved closer. God is with me. God is with me. Every step the monster took was closer to their doom. The fleas pulled and pulled, trying to free themselves. Finally, the fleas were free and they ran. Th then what happened? The end. <sighs> what a terrible ending. <laughs> Who would be scared by that story? <laughs> Swamp gas. It's the monster. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Gas is everywhere. <laughs> Hold your breath. <laughs> ah. Ah. What a great night's sleep. What a beautiful morning. Oh, man. I must even stink in my sleep. Cool! I, I want to try. Oh, wow. This is higher than I thought. This camp is fun, but Stanley sure is making it hard. Yeah, we like him and all, you know, for a stink bug, but he just stinks. Yeah, we gotta do something. You know what that means, Wormy? We have to pray. Hermy! I'm impressed you thought of that. You are learning. Yep, I know my stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Um, God, it's us. Hello, Hermy. Hello, Wormy. Uh, God, we have a problem. It's Stanley. Yes? What about him? Well, um, uh, how, how do we put this? He, um, oh, he, uh, uh he stinks. Uh, he doesn't stink like he's not good at something. He, uh, he stinks as in, uh, he smells bad. So, uh, can you fix him? Maybe he's not the one with the problem. What does he mean? I don't know. Uh, do you think he can smell me? <laughs> Come to think of it. Hey, I've been at camp for a couple of days. Why do you think he stinks? Hmm, poor hygiene? No. Stink bugs stink when they are afraid. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that of makes course, sense. that makes sense, yeah. That's it. I always get nervous and afraid, and then I stink. So what should I do? I have to face my fears so I won't be afraid. Now, 
what am I afraid of? Heights. I'm going to the top of that tree and I'm not coming down until my stink goes away. God, that makes sense. He's not just afraid of camp or, or the high dive platform. He's afraid of what others might think about him. Hermy, Wormy, who made Stanley? Oh, I know the answer to this one. You. Do I make mistakes? No. Why do you think I made Stanley stink? Now that's a good one. We haven't figured that one out yet. Accept him and see what happens. But the stink, and the smell, and the, 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 the yuck. Just accept him as he is and be his friend, Hermie. His biggest fear is being rejected. Oh, wow. That's so sad. No wonder. I got just the idea. Come on. Oh, boy. Here we go again. This is a great idea, having a party for Stanley. To show him that we appreciate him and accept him. But, uh, did you remember to invite him? Oh, Haley and Bailey are out looking for him. They're telling him that it's lunchtime and we're gonna surprise him. Here they come, quiet. Surprise! Surprise! Oh. It's Stanley. He he tried to climb the tallest tree in the garden. And he can't get down. Uh, uh, oh, boy. I, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh, I'm really afraid. Oh, boy. Oh, man! Oh, save him! Oh, oh, oh. A lot closer than I thought. Skeeter, take me up there. I have to talk to him. Uh, Stanley Stinkbug, this is Hermie. Remain calm. Why are you up here? I, I, I thought if I faced something that scared me, then I wouldn't stink. I, I heard you and Wormy talking to God, and it made sense. Stinkbugs stink when they're afraid. If I'm not afraid anymore, then, 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 then I, I won't stink. Yes, but are trees your biggest fear? No. Are tall trees your biggest fear? No. What is? Ugh. Other bugs not liking me. And why would they not like you? Because I stink. You're afraid that bugs won't like you because you stink. That fear causes you to stink, which causes other bugs to run away. Now, you think they don't like you, but they're really running away from the stink, which comes about because you're afraid bugs won't like you. I mean, that really stinks. It does, I think. We have a surprise waiting for you. We want to show you how much we like you. You like me? Even though I stink? Even though you stink, uh, uh, smell, uh, are, uh, nasally challenged, uh, anyway, come on. Okay. Somebody get him! Hold on! No, wait! Not us! <laughs> I... <laughs> I... <laughs> 
Damn, I can't breathe. Oh. oh. Skeeter, you saved Stanley. I did? Uh, I did! <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Who keeps moving this tree? This way, Stanley. It's time to eat. Surprise! Stanley, we wanted to do this to show you that we love you and we welcome you to this camp. We're very happy you're here. You are? I, you really want me around? Even with my stink? Well, God made you that way for uh, <clears throat> some reason. Even though you uh, have a certain... Aroma on the outside. On the inside, you have a good heart. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I've never felt so comfortable before. Everyone always runs away before they get to know me. I'm glad I came to this camp. Hey, look! Stanley's smell is going away. Yes! It's going to be a great camp now. Hey, like I made this cake, you know? It's carrot cake, of course, with tofu and sprouts. So good. Just nasty. N A S T Y nasty. tube of toothpaste feels like. Oh, oh no! This is scary! Really, really scary! guys. When I'm afraid, I start to stink. God made me that way. It's a good thing he did. And because of that, you protected all of us. You're right. It's a good thing God made me stinky. I guess God knew what he was doing. Right, everyone? Good job, soldier. Thank you for sending me to this camp. I, I've made so many nice friends. Friends are always there for you, Stanley. They love you no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. 
And no matter how much you stink... That's right. I, I gotta go. The big game's about to start, and they want me to play. They even picked me first. Bye. Forty-three, twenty-two, eighty-one. Hot. Stanley, imagine that the swamp gas monster is right behind you. Run, Stanley! Run! Oh, oh. Get away, get away! <laughs> there has to be some kind of rule about that. <laughs> Sorry, I checked. When we meet someone that's not like us, we have to remember that God made them that way, and He doesn't make mistakes. And instead of looking for ways to change them, we could look for ways to accept them and love them even if they stink. Phew, what's that smell? Hey, Max, yeah, that was a great story about friendship. Do you smell that? Is Stanley with you? Oh, uh, oh, that's my Limburger cheese and my green tomato wrap. Want a bite? No, thanks. Can you put that away? It really stinks. Max, I think you have a problem accepting stinky sandwiches. Yes, I do. Here, maybe this'll help. Better? Now do you accept my sandwich for what it is? I guess so. Hey, how does it look? Oh, it's you with a clothespin on your nose. Mm -hmm. Good sandwich. Very good sandwich. Let's sing a campfire song. Um, who has a request? Fancy Wincy Spider. We just did that one, Webster. Old MacDonald had an ant farm. We tried that, but ants don't make a noise. With a here and a there and a... What's the point? Where is Shaka? Eh, my French is a little rusty. Uh, how about honey, honey, bow bunny, banana, fanta, no funny? Oh. Farmer in the Dell. What's a Dell? Nobody knows what a Dell is. How about home in the garden? <laughs> 